Hey, what's good everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about a stalling method that can keep Pikachu under the stage for 12 seconds. This only works on PS2 and stages that protrude all the way to the bottom of the blast zone. So let's say Yoshi's Story, or Yoshi's Island, or the Mega Man stage. All of them you can do this method on, because you can keep all jumping on the side. I'd like to apologize for the bad camera quality because I am on vacation and I don't have access to my capture card, but I try to position the camera so you can see as best as possible. So to perform this, what you want to do is you want to run off stage, you want to skull bash off, wall jump, skull bash twice more, wall jump again, skull bash twice more, wall jump, double jump, skull bash twice more, wall jump, and then quick attack back onto stage. That will, take a pro that will um, stall you for approximately 12 seconds, and one of the key things that I didn't really mention, when you skull bash the first time, you want to wait until you're a little bit lower so you get maximum height out of your wall jump. And it's pretty consistent. It's really good against Cloud because it's really good for waiting out his um, limit timer because, because limit will be forced out of him if you wait about, I think it's 25 seconds. And if you do that twice, and he doesn't do anything, like if he can maybe go off stage and then shoot uh, a limit crossbeam at you, but usually you'll be able to react to it and then not get hit by it. And that's a really bad usage of it too, but he's forced to use it if he's going to be using it in any type of capacity. And even if you do get hit by it, you can tech it and it doesn't deal too much damage. Or it's a lot better than getting killed by something. And you can also stall out Joker's Arsene when he, when he gets it later in the match. Um, there are more difficult and precise ways to stall under the stage. Um, that includes doing like a wall jump and then a, a reverse thunder. Um, the one that stalled you for 30 seconds, which is a video that Captain L made, that got patched out because it takes longer to wall jump after the your initial wall jump off of the same wall. So because that's not a thing anymore, you have to wait more time. And because I'm using two skull bashes per wall jump, it gives me the opportunity to wall jump again. But there are ways to implement wall jumping and reverse thundering to make you last under the stage longer. But it is very difficult to get that down, and if you do mess it up, you will die for it for too low. So doing this method where you mostly just use skull bashes and wall jumps is a really consistent method that you could use to stall under the stage in a, in a tournament setting. Oh, I messed up the last wall jump there, but it doesn't require that much tech skill. You just need to be really fast with your wall jumps and make sure you don't lose any height, then you should be losing. Well, thanks for watching the video, everybody. I might do this same video with my capture card when I get to use it again, if this camera quality isn't really well taken, but hopefully all of you guys have a good day.